as a young man, I found out very early that I had a very hard time waking up. School was oftentimes one of the hardest things I had to go through every fucking day. I honestly never knew that McDonald's made fucking breakfast until I was old enough and stayed up all night and went there in the morning. I have what's known as delayed sleep phase disorder. It's not really a disorder though. What it is is a gene, all right? You call us night owls, people of this nature. And the gene actually changes your circadian rhythm inside of your body. Now you say, what's a circadian rhythm? Well, inside of your brain, all right, and inside of your eyes, there's receptors to notice light and dark, all right? And some of us have those wires back as compared to most of the regular society. Up to 15% of our population lives in this manner every day. They walk around exhausted, beaten, miserable, horrible human beings, usually heavily medicated, making mistakes, failing at life, depressed, hurting, overweight, obese, just in general living a shitty fucking life. But me... I decided early on that I wasn't going to do that. And it's not like most individuals where individuals can stand here and make up sleep. For us, we stand here and we stay up 24 hours and try to go to bed at night. You know, I mean, like the next day and it ends up you just stay up all fucking night again and you'll sleep like two hours, wake up and be ready to roll again. It's a fucked up ass way to live. It's like being permanently fucking jet lagged all the goddamn time. And it's a miserable way to live until you decide that, you know what, I'm just going to live at night. (laughs) I have never in my life worked a first shift fucking job more than like a week or two without fucking getting fired because I couldn't show the fuck up. I can tolerate a week for training usually. That's usually what I do about a week for fucking training. And what I do is I work during the day, and then when I, as soon as I get home, I'll pass the fuck out for like two hours, and then be up all goddamn night, and go back to it again. See, there's three different clocks you have to look at. First is the clock of when the sun is up, which is, you know I mean, you know, you see, you know, the sun's up, sun's down, right? And then you look at the clock of how normal individuals sleep. You know, the average time to go to bed is right around like 9, 10, 11 o'clock. And then you have the rest of us, right? You know, I mean, you have individuals who have advanced sleep phase and then delayed sleep phase, which is, you know, I mean, the worst of it. You know, individuals who stand here and they go to bed, you know, 12, 1, 2, you know, and that's tough on you, I'll be honest with you. But then you have those of us who go to bed 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the fucking morning. Makes it almost impossible to work a day shift job. And you can get away with this. It starts as a teenager. Right. You know, I mean, this is what it shows up as because it's actually a gene. It's a gene that's uh, mutated. It's a CRY1 gene. And it actually shows up during puberty when you're a teenager. And for some of like 15 percent of the population, it never goes back to where it was. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you suffer with this type of thing. All right. This is something that you can't fix. All right, they're going to tell you to shine bright lights in your face. You know, I mean, every morning, you know, I mean, they're going to tell you to take melatonin at night. Motherfuckers are going to call you lazy and shit. But the truth of the matter is we've always existed. This isn't a new phenomenon. You know what I'm saying? This isn't something new. What it is, is since the beginning of mankind, like they've observed it with like hunter gatherer tribe who still exist today. They have individuals in their fucking tribe who sleep in the daytime. Because they need somebody up at night to guard them from the fucking wild animals. And it's stoked to fire. Whatever the case might be. And we've always existed. Alright. No matter what has happened in every society. Egypt. Rome. The Greeks. Doesn't matter. We've always existed. We were there in the streets. Watching out for people. We were there. We were there. We're not even making sure. You know what I'm saying? It. You know, if a house burnt down, we were the first one ringing the bell. Or if the town got invaded, we were, you know what I mean, first line of goddamn defense. That's what we are. That's what we do. And it's not a bad thing. 
as you notice most individuals who you know work at night are bigger people they're big solid you know i mean wide-shouldered men and they're all women as well because you need to have somebody to mate with this is something that's passed on in female genes for the most part it comes from your mom's side of the family and if you have this disorder, you could probably look back at your uncles or, you know, I mean, you go back through your family history a little bit. And there's a couple of degenerates in there. And that's where it came from. They're not degenerates. They're individuals whose society stood there and said, you know, we don't want you to, you know, I mean, be a part of our society. It's like because they think it's fucking lazy. It's not the truth. That's not what the fucking deal is. That's not what we do. All right, we're not lazy. It's, it's literally, it's just what we're supposed to be. This is an evolutionary thing that was necessary and it's still necessary today because we still have nighttime security guards, nighttime fucking soldiers, we have individuals who stand here and get your goods to you and, you know, put fucking food on the fucking shelves. You know, and we watch over you while you fucking sleep. It's a normal thing. All right. Now, if you're working nights and it's not a natural thing for you, I would suggest you stop fucking doing it. You know, I mean, it's not something that you should be fucking doing because that's bad for you as well. Like, don't don't live outside of your square. Don't live outside of your box like that's not cool. All right. It's not going to help you any. But we've always existed. Usually they tend to be higher intellect individuals. I don't know why. Probably because, you know, like fucking so much goddamn time to think being alone at fucking night tend to be more loners and i've heard other individuals you know what i mean i listen to their videos um <clears throat> and you know what i mean there's a couple of guys that's talking about they don't want to give up their social life and you know they don't know how to deal with this well it's not really something you deal with it's a choice you make you know what i mean it's either a you live your life miserable the rest of your fucking days or you stand here and you know you accept yourself for what you are and if the people around you are willing to accept you for that good for them if they don't fuck them move on it is what it is it's not something that you can fucking change and i mean this isn't something that you're going to be able to fucking you know i mean fix there's no solution for this there's no cure there's nothing all right there's some treatments and be honest with you they're not good fucking treatments if you're a family man, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fucking, your, your fucking kids is going to have a rough time. But I promise you, one of them will probably be like you. It is what it is. So at least you have somebody to hang the fuck out with. You know, so I'm saying, next time you see somebody working a fucking night and they're bouncing off the goddamn walls, just remember, they're probably one of us. All right? And understand, some of us live in a different time than y'all. That's why I try to accept everybody, you know what I mean? I'm like, hey, look, you know, whatever it is, you know, that you're doing, it's probably something you're supposed to do. Everybody's supposed to live in a certain manner. That's how the fuck you were built. And I'm not going to knock you for how the hell you were built. It is what it is. And anyway, man, it's Tom P. It's the Pinoy News. Y'all know the situation. Like, share, and motherfucking subscribe, my friends. Peace.